Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing amazing and welcome to the fifth episode of my digital productivity series. Today I'll be sharing with you how I organise my digital files. This is something I've been refining for a while so I'm really excited to share this with you. Let's jump straight into it. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, the links will be down below in the description and up in the card. So I have my hard drive split into three. I have my my C drive, my D drive, and then my SSD external hard drive, this, this one right here. This is a Samsung portable SSD, it's 250 gigabytes. And I'll be explaining how I use all of these right now. So the C drive is just uh, where like necessary software goes in, so like programs and all that jazz, that's pretty much it. Just the necessary files, I put them in there. There's nothing more to that. Um, then we go into the D drive and this is where I have my main organizational system and this is linked to Google Drive which I'll show you in a sec which I use the backup and sync and that links between them so it automatically backs up drive on the computer with Google Drive. So let's go into this and we can see how I have organized local files, content brand, freelance, magic, media, personal and work. So content to brand to work, these all those files are link to the Google Drive. Local files, because of how much storage it takes up, they are not linked to Google Drive, so they are mainly just on here. But I do back up all of these onto an external hard drive as well. This is a Verbatim, one terabyte hard drive. I just back up everything on there, so I have, so it's double redundancy. So you're backing up your computer on a cloud-based system as well as a physical system. So if one gets deleted, you've always also got another one. Content and brand, so that's all the YouTube stuff that I have. So I've got on Instagram, YouTube, all the videos that I'm making, that goes into there. Freelance is just freelance work that I do as a photographer and filmmaker. And work is like work I might be doing for a company or something like that. I have all my school stuff on Google Drive, which I'll probably end up putting on here mainly as well, but at the moment it's just on Google Drive. And now I'm gonna show you my SSD and how I use that. Because when it comes to editing, editing on this is much quicker and it renders quicker and exports quicker and the uh, editing is smoother compared to how I'm um, editing on the drive here because the drive inside the computer is not an SSD. So doing that is much better. I go into the SSD and then I have current projects and that's where I have all the projects that I'm working on. So we can see here, I have my note taking one which I uploaded the other week. I leave that in there. Like each time I upload the new one, I move the old one over. I don't know, that's just how I like to do it. So then I have the projects that I'm working on here and yeah, this is the template that I use for the projects. So I make a template so I can just highlight that. I can copy it like that, go to current projects, paste it there, and then rename it to the project that I'm working on. Uh, I'll show you how it looks. So if we go into the template, we can see here, I have project, so that's where the project file will go. I have footage, so that's where all the footage will go. I'll make a, there's a folder for A-roll and a folder for B-roll. A-roll is like this, I'm talking over it. The B-roll is the footage that goes on top of it. So it might be a B-roll might be the screen recording, for example. Audio, so that might be the voiceover or music or sound effects, all of that will go in there. Graphics is just anything graphics related, so any video assets, anything like that. Um, stills just photos, so that might be where I put like the thumbnail and stuff like that. The exports is all the exports, basically, as the name. I have all the micro content and the long form content in there. And seven is just everything else, which nothing tends to go in there because everything is usually organized, but I have that just in case. Now, if we switch over to Google Drive, we can see here that we have my drive and then we have computers. And my drive um, is, is pretty much um, only got my school stuff on there because I put most of the stuff on the computer. And if I don't need, if I've got stuff that I don't need access to, um, like on an everyday basis, it's on here. Um, so that's just what all my school stuff is. And then if we go to the computers, we can see here we have my laptop and then if we go toggle down, we can see all the same folders that automatically sync up with the hard drive on the computer. So if I make a change on the computer, on the drive there, it will automatically make a change there. And what I do is, once I finish the projects on here, in the, in the current projects on the SSD, I then cut and paste them into the D drive, in the local files, in the videos, put them in there, and then I make also make a backup on my hard drive here and that's pretty much it i'll probably one day end up upgrading to the one terabyte version of google drive from the 100 gigabyte version that i have now 
when I need to do that, I will. But at the moment, 100 gig quite is fine, and having two backups like that is pretty solid at the moment. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. You can follow my photography work and other video work on Instagram, and you can sign up to my weekly email newsletter down below, where I share productivity tips and other content related to what I create on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.